In the heart of the city, teeming with skyscrapers and bustling with life, a new chapter was unfolding. A chapter in the life of Leng, a seasoned desktop support specialist. With eight years of experience under his belt, Leng was ready to embark on a fresh journey armed with knowledge and an insatiable thirst to make a difference in a new environment. The company he chose was not random. He had meticulously researched and even visited the premises before he had his first interview. He knew this was where he wanted his next adventure to be. Little did he know this story would take a turn he least expected. Lung's first day at the new company was overwhelming to say the least. The sprawling 10,000 square foot corporate building, complete with state-of-the-art technologies, felt like a spaceship. The building was recently renovated, connecting the office with the manufacturing facility, adding another 5,000 square feet of space filled with conference rooms and offices. The tradition of the company was to send the new IT guy on an audit mission. It was a rite of passage of sorts, a way to familiarize oneself with the systems they'd be supporting and to get a lay of the land. Typically, these audits were done remotely from the comfort of the IT specialist's desk, a routine that suited those who preferred the quiet solitude of their workspace. But Leng was different. He saw this as an opportunity to physically explore the premises, meet the people behind the screens, and build relationships. He was eager to become the trusted expert he knew he could be. Unfortunately, he was blissfully unaware of the real reason behind his hiring. In the world of IT, Leng was an anomaly, a vibrant personality amid a sea of introverts. He had a life outside work, a fascination with race cars, and a driveway at home to prove it. His audacious plan to walk the floors, conduct audits in person, and engage in conversations with staff members about their roles in the company was his way of standing out. Little did he know that his boss had quite a different perception of him. As Leng navigated the labyrinth of his new role, he was oblivious to the fact that his boss considered him incompetent, a temporary fixture, someone who wouldn't last. The realization would only dawn on him when it was too late. A harsh lesson learned about the true meaning of extensive interview processes and the illusion of success painted by corporate structures. What led to this shocking revelation? How did Leng's journey take such a dramatic twist? And what will he do next? The answers to these questions will be revealed in our next video. Until then, remember, not everything is as it seems.